The goal of every educator is to see students experience deep and durable learning. But so often the actual experience is far less transformative and creates frustration for the students and disappointment for the teacher and parents. We've experienced so much learning that is fleeting that most of us have a deep pessimism, which we call realism, that learning can ever really last. My book, Unforgettable, Deep and Durable Learning, embraces this challenge. It is the distillation of lessons learned over 40 years in higher education, teaching over 10,000 students. There are three foundational insights that I've found to be the basis for regular, remarkable transformation in students at all levels, but especially in college. The first of these insights is that the mind is built for logical thinking. But often education tries to short circuit the process by making students recall disconnected bits of information. We must involve the mind in a way of thinking that harnesses its power. Every discipline or domain of human thought involves logical thinking, utilizing a small number of powerful ideas. These are principles, and they often are stated in a cause-effect manner. For instance, history is written by the victors, Winston Churchill said. That's a principle with a great deal of power to explain. We as learners, or teachers, or parents must strive to uncover these principles and to center learning on using them and not just remembering them. Chapters two through five in my book help you to uncover these principles and their logical relationship with one another. Second insight is that the job of teachers and parents is to enable learning. We can't do the learning for our students or our children by simply telling them what we know. We all learn by doing and learning fundamentally involves students grappling with real-world problems that are compelling enough to keep them engaged through the inevitable twists and turns and dead-end streets they will encounter. In the process of grappling, the learner needs regular and timely feedback, and that's the third insight. We paralyze learning if we test too early in the process, or if we simply give students the answers. Learners are best helped by questions that point their thinking in the most productive direction. Thinking is fueled by questions, not answers. This is the opposite of most curricula, which give answers to questions that no one is asking. The goal of learning is to be able to solve pressing real-world problems. Learning in the manner I've laid out in my book produces expertise that is in demand everywhere. Grappling with ideas produces discernment and even wisdom for the challenges of life. That kind of learning will always be in demand.